It is the first day of open enrollment for Minnesotans in the individual health care market. Governor Mark Dayton met with state Republican leaders this morning to discuss problems with the system. Kate Raditz is live at the governor's mansion where the meeting was held. Kate, has there been a solution? Well, we will see, Kim. Governor Mark Dayton met with uh, House Speaker Kurt Dow for about an hour and a half this morning at the governor's residence here. They met to discuss the caps from insurance companies on health insurance plans to ensure that all Minnesotans will have access to health care. Both leaders said that it was a productive meeting. Following today's closed door meeting, Governor Dayton said he is working to ensure all people purchasing insurance through the individual market will be able to. There are currently five counties in central Minnesota that do not have access to an uncapped insurance program. Today's meeting comes after Governor Mark Dayton made national headlines last month calling the Affordable Care Act too expensive. He urged lawmakers to come up with a temporary solution by November 1st. Of course, that being today, Republicans were also focused on these enrollment caps. Speaker Dowd said, yes, it was a productive meeting today, but he was a little more skeptical that families won't have a problem with those caps. I'm optimistic that uh, everybody who seeks coverage will, will get coverage. I shared with him that I don't have complete faith that um, that everyone in those five counties is going to have coverage, and I and I believe that that absolutely must be uh, a top priority. Making sure that every Minnesotan who wants health insurance um, has the ability to purchase a health insurance policy. The individual market affects about 5% of Minnesotans. Governor Dayton said that there have been 13,000 applications for Minsure and already 2,000 have been completed. Kate, I believe the majority of the insurers have capped enrollment plans in order to uh, control costs. Did the governor say how they plan to avoid Minnesotans being turned away from those caps? Yeah, well, the, the plan seemed a little bit vague, to be honest, but they said that the uh, Commerce Commissioner, he said that he will be monitoring enrollment numbers twice a week. He will be checking in with insurance companies to make sure that uh, those caps won't be a problem for families. Uh, again, the five counties where this really affects, it is Stearns, Benton, Morris, Mille Lacs, and Crow Wing County. Okay, those country, counties there in central Minnesota, hopefully there will be a solution soon. Kate, thank you.